In this calculation, we're going to use the short division method to find the answer to 6,497 divided by 8. What we will do this time, though, rather than leaving the answer as a remainder, is we will show you how to turn it into a decimal. So I'm going to use my short division method as normal. I'm going to draw my box and put the smaller number on the outside, which is 8, and the larger number on the inside, which is 6,497. First of all, I'm going to see how many times 8 goes into 6. But because this number is larger than 6, we know that it isn't going to go in at all. So we're going to carry that 6 to the next digit. Now we're going to look at how many times 8 goes into 64. So I'm going to use my knowledge of the 8 times tables. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64. And I've counted on my fingers to show me that 8 goes into 64 8 times. Because that's gone in exactly, I don't need to carry any numbers over here. So I'm now seeing how many times 8 goes into 9, which is quite easy because I know that 1 times 8 is 8. So I'm going to place 1 there. And I know that 1 times 8 is 8. 1 more would get me to 9, so I have 1 left over. I'm now going to see how many times 8 goes into 17. So 1 times 8 is 8. 2 times 8 is 16, so it goes in twice. Now, instead of writing remainder 1, because we had 1 of the 17 left over, I'm going to show you how to turn this into a decimal. So I'm going to put a decimal point here, and then what I need to do is put a 0 there, so that I can use the remainder 1 in an effective way. So you always put a 0 there. Because the remainder was 1, I'm going to put that there. I'm now going to see how many times 8 goes into 10 which is once, because 1 times 8 is 8. My remainder there is 2, so I'm going to use another 0 and put the 2 there. So this time I'm going to see how many times 8 goes into 20. So 8, 16, it goes in twice, and then the remainder this time, the difference between 16 and 20 is 4. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, so 4. So I'm going to put the 4 there and then use another 0. And I can keep adding zeros until I make this number go in exactly. Luckily, on this occasion, 8 goes into 40 exactly. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, which is 5 times. Because I don't have any left over, I don't need to add another 0 and then put the remainder because I have done the sum exactly. So I now know, rather than having a remainder, that 6,497 divided by 8 equals 812.125.